having my hair outside on the porch is wow like hey you guys good morning today is thursday welcome to another vlog this is going to be a weekend vlog because i have a couple of things that i'm definitely doing this weekend and over the course of the days i'm looking like this right now because i need to get my hair done so this is what we need to do today my hair appointment is later on so i need to it, it wouldn't be me if i wasn't waiting last minute for everything but this is a wig I'm trying to get the tracks off of this wig. I already did one test portion of it because I was like, I need to see if it's going to be hard because it would just be my look that is hard. But I don't know if y'all could tell. Well, y'all could tell, but the girl used a sewing machine. So the stitching on it is fairly like straight. So it shouldn't be, it wasn't hard to get that one off. And I'm just using a small little eyelash some eyelash scissors so i need to get this hair off of this wig i decided to take it off of this wig because for one i did not want to go and buy new hair and for two i like this hair and it's fall so i like this hair and i like this color this way it's already color i don't have to worry about paying to buy the color i ain't gotta worry about buying no new hair and i really i'm not even really feeling wigs anymore i do like the concept of wigs where you don't have to worry about messing up your natural hair but to me it doesn't look as natural and me having so much going on and so moving so much like I, I something that i could take off is not really good for me because as soon as i get in the house that wig come off then i gotta worry about putting it back on and more than likely my life is so busy i'm not gonna put it back on for about two weeks so i'll be walking around looking like Celie. i said that i'm just gonna get a sew-in with minimal leave out i haven't had a sew-in in a well matter of fact i had a sew-in at the beginning of the year but i took that out in like two weeks because i ain't like the hair i had ended up going to get some pack hair from the hair store so i ain't like the hair anywho now i need to wash my hair because i don't know if y'all can y'all see like the dandruff in my hair the dandruff in my hair has been really bad so i seen some stuff that target sell by this brand called raw sugar so it's specifically for a dandruff and like scalp treatment and it removes all of the dandruff in your hair because that's the problem i'm having i'll wash my hair y'all and it's the dandruff still not coming out so we gotta go to Target to get that. Then I get my hair done. And then that's pretty much it for today, honey. But in the meantime, I'm about to get this hair off this week. <laughs> are done we're done this is all that's left which is the actual lace so i can't use this but it was so much easier cutting it through the stocking on this way because the other way honey child i was getting tired so now i have to wash this i hope this is enough hair this gonna have to be enough hair if it ain't we gonna make it enough hair but this is it
having my hair outside on the porch is wild. Like, there it is. Look at all the cute. Hey there, pumpkin. Oh my goodness. This is cute. Oh, it ain't that soft though, but I like it. Got what we came in here for. Time to go. Okay, y'all. I'm back from Target. And uh cramps are so bad. I got the stuff as y'all saw in my cart. But I don't know why y'all. Like when I uh opened it, I did not it I didn't put two and two together that it would look like this. Like, look. <laughs> but I'm about to wash my hair because I got to get going. It's about 1.30. So, I need to go ahead and wash my hair. Blow dry. It shouldn't take long though because I have a relaxer. So, I ain't got to work through the trenches. So, I'm about to do that. And then we're going to go to our appointment. So, we can look like a baddie later. <laughs> in the car on the way to get my hair done I really like I can't really tell how it's doing with my dandruff yet but I don't see the dandruff as of yet I mean you know I just washed my hair so I don't expect it to come up that quick but um, I do like how it made my hair feel and how it smells even despite the look of it but it's just you know I didn't even correlate charcoal with looking like that I know that's how charcoal look but I ain't think the shampoo was gonna look like that usually I wear my contacts to get my hair done but today I did not feel like putting my contacts in and I wear dailies so I literally would have only been putting them is that a deer oh my goodness it was just a deer just dead laying there Oh, I didn't. I wear daily contacts. Oh my goodness, it's fly! I freaking hate flies, man. And they always want to come in my car. Why? Why? Leave me alone. I don't like you. Now look at my hair. Um, I still need to go to the ATM and get some money out because I have not given the money out. Um. I think I'm gonna go with a middle part though y'all I'm excited to get my hair done because I feel like I have not gotten a sew-in that I really loved in a while like it's been mad long for real so I'm excited to get a sew-in because the last one I had I wasn't even able to enjoy it because I hated the hair and I feel like with this hair it's better shoot if it do real good with this sew-in Cause it was doing good with my wig, but if it do real good with the sewing, I might use it again. Because y'all, it costs a lot to 
buy tracks and then get it like highlighted and stuff if it's already done listen baby i'm gonna wear them till the tracks fall off okay but yeah i am it's that time of the month so i'm cramping really really bad y'all my okay this is for females conversation for women females so my menstrual been coming like every three weeks and i don't like that because i feel like that's too early like why are you coming every three weeks by the time it finishes it feel like it's right back on so is that normal i have never heard of someone having it that soon like every three weeks like bro i need to find the atm i'm about to ride and jam out to some music y'all and I probably will see y'all once I get done getting my hair done because I really don't want to film. Like, I don't like putting the camera on people's face and stuff. It's hella weird. I need to get me some water, too. You know what I need to do? I just need to find a 7-Eleven so I can get me some money out of it and get me some water because I'm mad thirsty. Like, I drink a lot of water and I have not drunk much of anything today. So, I'm going to do that. Let's hope I can make this appointment on time. Safe to say I love my hair. Okay, let me tell y'all that relaxer did me justice because look how slick that junkie is. Okay, I just wanted to show y'all my hair. I love it. I went to her plenty of times, so I know that I was gonna love it. drive home you guys probably get something to eat though because i'm a little bit hungry good morning y'all good morning good morning good morning good morning good morning good morning um, we are on our way Did I, I don't know if i mentioned it in the beginning of the vlog but my son has to get his teeth pulled today so let me tell y'all about the process that we have been going through with him what the toward me why? Because they gotta see. The I'm gonna let face. you. I'm gonna let you get your shot they in one minute. Trust and believe, face. honey. They have to see. I'm gonna let you get your shot in one face. minute. Just give me a minute. Let me explain to them. So, my son is in the process of getting braces, but before he could get the braces, we had to go through a lot of different steps in order for him to be able to get the braces. One of them being he has to get four teeth pulled. I took him to the dentist to get the teeth pulled. We made it as far as them putting the gel on his gums to numb his gums before they put the actual um, the needle in his gums to numb it. But once he saw the needle, he could just not go through it, y'all. We really tried for like an hour. He just couldn't go through it. So the dentist recommended for him to get put to sleep. So that's what we're doing today. So he does still have to get a needle in his arm. But he says that he will be able to handle that because he got a needle, you know, shots before at the doctor. So, hopefully today go well. You ready, Elijah? You ready? I'm not ready. <laughs> you better get ready. She said that every time when I'm about to get hurt. <laughs> Who said you're about to get hurt? I got, like the or like the or I got my teeth pulled before. That's different. And I had to get put to sleep. And your, and your grandma. No, no, no. no. To... You ain't say that. You ain't say that. What? You said. You I, I told you before that I did have to get a shot in my gums, which I did for a feeling. But I did have to get put to sleep before to get my wisdom teeth pulled. So I did both of the things that you scared of, honey. Before you about to talk mess. Anyway. From what I remember when I um when I got my teeth pulled, I just know that whole weekend I think I stayed in the house. I stayed in the house because you know, hey, they have like those got the guys that you put in your mouth and to you know to catch the blood. And um I know they said to really, really, really try to prevent from food getting in the holes. I really can't remember. But I know I was on soft foods. I think I was eating stuff like mashed potatoes. Stuff like that. So I probably would have to go get that for him. 
sauce, apple sauce. But it's gonna go good. It's gonna go all right, right? I did. You got this. It'll be over before you know it. I told him it's gonna. He gonna go to sleep, and next thing you know, he gonna be waking up. And look, I remember when I woke up, I was like, "Is it done?" And he was like, "Yeah, mine." You knocked out. You don't remember nothing. But I just so took you my. I mean, it was a little pain after, but they give you medicine for it. I took my bonnet off, y'all. I ain't did nothing to my hair other than to take my it bonnet off. It's all natural. Yeah, these are my trusses. <laughs> and you thought, what you thought? No makeup either. No makeup. No wig. No eyeliner. No wig. No lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So, I'm about to go. You did it. You did it. Hey, you guys. Good morning. It's the next day. I am about to fix my coffee. And then I'm going to sit down and talk with y'all. Because I have to give y'all the update. On well, yesterday, I did not um even come back up here. After we left the actual orthodontics office. But... Before I sit down and do that, let me ask y'all a question, all right? So, this Keurig, and I could easily Google it, but <laughs> I just thought about it right now. This Keurig, you see at the top of it, it says, can y'all see that? It says ice, right? So, okay. <laughs> so, at first when I was trying to make iced coffee, I would, you know, just brew the coffee just like you normally would. And then put ice in it. But of course, the ice melted because the coffee is hot, right? So I was like, oh, it has an ice button up there. So I'm thinking if you press the ice button, then the coffee won't be hot and it'll come out cold. I was completely wrong. <coughs> I was completely wrong. So I pressed the ice button. And it still came out cold. So what is the purpose of the ice button? And how do you make iced coffee? Because all this summer I've been drinking hot coffee. Okay, y'all. My coffee is made. Let's chat right quick. So, yesterday, as far as my son getting his teeth pulled, everything went well. The process for him to actually get the shot in his arm for the IV, that was a process, you guys, because the dentist was not, pa well, the orthodontist was not patient with him at all. It was not helping the situation. The nurse really was trying to talk to him and, like, calm him down. So I had to end up going back there and talking to him. Long story short, we got it done. When he woke up, he was, like, had tears coming down his eyes, but, like, happy tears and was just, like, hugging the nurse saying, I love you so much. Like boohoo crying. Like I'm right there. And he hugging on her. They gave me some medicine to give to him. And yeah. So he seemed like he's back to his normal self now. The bleeding stopped. Um, so it's just like if he he just has to continue with taking the pain medicine every six hours. So the pain won't like hurt him. Because he did he did take a nap yesterday. And he was laying on one side of his face and he kept, when he woke up, he said that face, that side was really swollen. So that was that. Then when I got back home, I literally fell asleep on the couch because I was so tired. Like that took so much out of me. I was so tired. So I fell asleep on the couch and I just really wasn't in a good mood. So I didn't even like pick up the camera and, but I did, I made me a drink. I was sitting on the couch watching TV now this is where <laughs> the story goes left so I'm sitting on the couch watching TV it's just me and the kids here and I get a notification that somebody is at my door now immediately I got nervous because I'm like who's at my door I didn't order anything it was like 8 something at night so it was dark I didn't order anything no food it shouldn't be no delivery and their dad was gone so and I knew it wasn't you know I knew it was nobody else that was at the door like family or anything like that so 
I'm like, who is at my door? So I go look at the camera, y'all. It's this man. I might put the picture up on the screen. I don't know. It's a whole man on my doorstep. And immediately I was scared because I'm like, who the fuck is this? Like, who is this at my door? Like, I was downstairs. But when I was looking at the camera, I saw him like looking around, act like he was acting like he was on the phone. He was looking around the porch. Then he, um, for a second, he was like looking inside the door, I guess to see if somebody was coming. And then he took something off my porch and ran off. And what scares me the most, I don't even care about what he took, but what scares me is the fact of that he see these cameras, even our neighbor's cameras was like, hi, you're being recorded. He, he didn't pay no mind. So that's what scared me. And I was downstairs while I knew he was at the door, but I was scared to go to the door because I'm like, okay, I'm not about to open the door because then what if he tried to like bum rush in here? And then I didn't know if he had a weapon. I'm here by myself with the kids. And I feel like that's the worst feeling when you, it's already bad when you know you're here by yourself. But when you know you have kids here that you have to protect, it's like, oh my gosh. Like immediately, you know, attack mode. But he ran off. My neighbors end up seeing it also and yelled at him. But he still got on that bike and ran off. <laughs> he did not care. So honestly, I think he was he was on drugs. Honestly, I think he was on drugs. And he was like trying to take something to sell or something. Because he had no regard for the cameras. Like at all. But I got his face clear as day. Oh, the whole thing was recorded. So... So I better not see him no more. So then after that, I tried to calm down. But honestly, I was scared all night because I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, it was just like, it's a Friday night. It just was a lot going on last night. Like, on my street. Like, it was two white vans that just pulled up. And like, out of one van, two guys came out and met up with the other guy. And they were just like, outside. Just talking, which ain't nothing wrong with that. But I'm like, it didn't seem like they live here because after they was talking, they was outside talking for a while. After they was talking, they just got in the car and rolled off. But I'm like, out of all places on this street, why did you just stop here to talk? So it was just, everything was just making me paranoid. So I finally was able to go to sleep. So now here we are this morning today let me drink some of my coffee y'all y'all see this on my arm man my apple watch did me dirty and somebody recommended that i just wear it on the other arm um and like pretty much alternate it so it won't just be on this one arm because i wear it every day but it just don't feel right on this arm like it just interferes with too much That don't taste good. <laughs> Maybe because I just brushed my teeth. But um, today, you guys, me and my friend are supposed to be going to go eat lunch slash dinner. We have not decided where we're going. Um, but I definitely need to clean up. So I set a personal goal for myself. Well, not a personal goal. <laughs> I, well, I guess it's a personal goal. I set a goal for myself to go through every single room in this house thoroughly. You know how you just clean up and you just put everything in order. It look good when you walk in the room, but you know that it's stuff in the drawers. You know stuff need to be thrown away. You know thrown away. You just know that stuff need to be like thoroughly cleaned. And that's what I, that's what my goal has been to do in every single room. Now, I did do the downstairs down here. I did all of the downstairs um like a couple of weeks ago but right now it's bad like just stuff out of order but it's not stuff out of order as in like the drawers is junky like stuff like that it's just like stuff need to be in order and, and back in its place that's what it is but as far as the drawers and things like that down here 
we good. Upstairs, I did the office room and I did the twins room. That's it. So I really need to do our room, the older kids room, the laundry room, which is not much. Clean their bathroom because you know kids is trifling. And our bathroom really don't need to be organized because I've already did it from when I decorated it. Um, so yeah, so that's my goal. My, I set my goal to do this by fall, which is September. Hey, Siri. Uh huh. When is fall? Fall begins September 22nd and ends December 20th. Okay, so September the 22nd, September the 17th. So I have a couple of more days, but I gave myself when I started it, it was like 10 days from fall. So I gave myself. A good amount of time so i won't feel overwhelmed because sometimes i'll be in here trying to clean up the whole house in one day y'all and then i got a whole attitude don't nobody talk to me don't say nothing to me don't move nothing everything that's out of order i'm looking at everybody like who did this you know what i'm saying so i didn't want it to be that way so today i'm going to clean downstairs just get it back in order and then today i probably will do my room so i just heard my son he is up he needs to take his medicine now elijah how you feeling you gotta come take your medicine come in like 10 minutes anyway you guys i'm about to sit here and drink the rest of my coffee and agony because it's nasty <laughs> It gotta be because I just brushed my teeth because, yeah. Oh, these are cute. Are these men? Are these men glasses? I don't know about paying no dang on $135 though. I don't like these. Hey, do I have to? Wait, like, the bench is white and my team hurt. No, you still have to take it. I like these glasses. Can y'all see it? I said come in 10 minutes because I'm drinking my coffee. Huh? I said come in 10 minutes because I'm drinking my coffee. And I don't feel like getting up to open it right now. Y'all, he doesn't, he can't swallow pills. So I have to open like the capsule and put it in his mouth. I don't feel like doing all that right now. So I'm gonna drink my coffee first and then do it. Okay, so that's what we're about to do today. I'm gonna take y'all, I probably won't show you me cleaning up because that's just too much. I'm, I'm trying to get in my head, like, I'm trying to focus and be like, okay, clean up time, clean up time. Um, but I'm definitely gonna show y'all me, show y'all me, show y'all me doing my makeup. It ain't sound right when I was saying it. <laughs> Show y'all me doing my makeup and I don't know what I'm gonna wear you guys because I don't have no clothes. I don't have no clothes. <laughs> So the time has come for me to get ready. I hope y'all can see me good. I have, I'm showing y'all through the mirror. I just hope it's straight. I know you can't see the top of my head. 
but that really doesn't matter right now so i'm really i'm not gonna go through every single product that i'm using well i am but i'm not gonna talk through it i already washed my face right now i'm just putting on moisturizer which i've been using in this um let me show y'all i'm gonna put my glasses on calm and restore because i seen that it says for sensitive skin oat gel moisturizer and i've been really liking it i must say i got it because i got it because my face has been really dry in certain like this one area right here and i don't know why so oh i did not wet my sponges Okay, y'all. I clean my brushes. I'm about to get started. It's gonna be a B-roll because I'm playing music. Okay, y'all. I
soaking in moments we live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus Ooh, I'm on hiatus uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me Taking time out to be Okay, y'all, I'm running slightly behind. It's already five something. All I did was swoop one side, did some little baby edges, this side, that's it. Okay, so it's time to get dressed. I'm wearing this two piece set that I got from Mac Collection. And the thing is this shirt is tight to get on, so it definitely will mess up my makeup. So we about to improvise right quick. <laughs> Okay, you guys, this is how the outfit look. If you like this outfit, just be aware that it is tight. It shows everything. It's that time of the month, so I'm definitely more bloated. On top of I already have a gut, so yeah. So I'm wearing my Coach Crossbody. Just threw on some little earrings. And that's it. And as far as my shoes, I just have on these black slides from Target because I don't wear heels if I don't have to. I got a JBW watch on and just my little glasses. Okay, let's go. Say hi. Say hi, 2020 twins. <laughs> All right. ah! Mommy about to go. I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you. Bye-bye. <laughs> You guys, let me just talk right quick while I'm in the car. I hate running late. I feel like I run late everywhere I go. Anytime that it's time to go out to eat or somewhere. The only time I don't run late is if I don't put any effort into getting ready. If I'm just like, forget it, I'm not doing my makeup and um, I'ma just put something on, then I'll be good. But any other time, no. I got makeup, look, I did all of that we're putting the bag over my head so makeup won't get on my shirt however makeup got on my pants 
which I don't, and the back of them at that. How did that happen? I don't know. Oh my goodness, you can see my Lebo. Um, I tried to put as little heat on my hair as possible, which is gonna be my goal of doing, like putting as little heat on my hair as possible because I really don't want my hair like breaking off as far as where the leave out is at. And honestly, y'all, that's why I got relaxed. I mean, I, it wasn't because of the sew in because getting a sew in was last minute decision. But I, I just can't. First of all, I don't do hair. Second of all, being natural, it just takes too much. Like my hair is by no means have like it, it is very coarse. So any hairstyle that I get, even when it comes down to a protective style like braids, it never lasts long because it's just my hair just gets so coarse. Like when it comes down to the, the braids, like say for instance, it's the summertime, as soon as sweat hit it or I'm at the gym, my roots is natural. And I, cause I'm trying not to say nappy, but it's, look, it's nappy. And I just um I'm just like I just was over it so I'm definitely a relaxer girl and I feel like it's just so much easier I know it's not technically good for your hair but it's just so much easier for me to maneuver with a relaxer because if I did not have a relaxer I would have definitely had to press my leave out today and I did all I did was do a little swoop to this side and put this behind my ear that's it that's it so easy so easy i haven't had to recurl the hair yet which i'm dreading that because child she curled it with a um flat iron and i do not know how to do that anyway as far as on my lips you guys also i need to invest in like more lip products because i don't have anything i don't have anything at all i went through my makeup the other day and threw out anything that was like old which was majority of my stuff so i don't have any lip products other than clear lip gloss so that's all i have but i'm about to get back into my makeup bag because i used to do makeup a lot love messing with colors and i just really like now i'm just like it went from me not doing eyeshadow or anything like that to just doing more like you know natural to not doing nothing so anyway i'm excited to get out of the house you guys i have not been out out in a while i really don't go out like that anymore because i just had a lot going on like we was going on vacations back to school like i just had to sit down so i'm gonna go enjoy myself the place we're going to is it does have happy hour from five to eight i supposed to be meeting her at 5 30 but honey child it's already like 5 20 so i don't think about they're gonna make it but I'm satisfied with my look. This outfit, I really love this outfit. Like, I just love how it fit. If you have, like, I mean, regardless of whatever type of body you have, y'all know I have a gut. It's no no uh, secret, and I'm not ashamed to show it. I just want it gone because I want it gone. But if you are interested in this outfit i will link it below because it's from the brand matte collection which they're known for their bathing suits but they do have um i don't even know what the name of the line is but whatever it is they sell like different variations of things like this like i have a black one that's long sleeve with the tights then they have dresses then they have like strapless so they just have different things and it's traffic of course of course of course you guys i made it back home safe and sound i need a hair piece for real for real i'm so tired and it's not even late it's like 10 55 which really isn't late I'm using the one size makeup dissolving mist. I should have 
took my shirt off. For real, for real. It's too late now. Where is it? Can I get it off? Can I get it off? By stretching this top. Yep, I got it off. Okay. Use my face wash, the CeraVe Foamy Facial Cleanser. Hey, you could just leave it. You could put it down on the chair. I had to order me some food, you guys, because let me tell you. So the place we went to, we had like happy hour. It was like happy hour from five to eight, right? And uh It was half an hour from five to eight. So when I got there, I got with what I got last time, which was wings. Now last time I also had got some there going um Cajun. No, it was like some type of Alfredo sauce and uh, with chicken. It was so damn salty. So, I was scared to get anything else because I'm like, listen, honey. You know, the place, I mean, it wasn't expensive, but I think that one was like, um, I want to say it was like 20 something dollars. So, I'm thinking, okay, let me go ahead and get just some chicken wings because I know that's what I got last time. And I was good with that. That ain't enough for me. This is my third time washing my face. That's why I don't like wearing makeup. It's too much. Like... Watching my dad on food. Shoot. That man, look, it's one thing you you steal my food. <laughs> We're gonna rock on I might chase you. Hit you with the car. Okay. Now let me get a towel, a fresh towel to I'm using my same moisturizer. Did I even, I don't even think I got my damn mascara good. All right, you guys. I'm about to put my night clothes on you guys and that is the end of this vlog. Tomorrow Sunday, so I have to have it up for you guys tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Of course, you guys will be seeing my beautiful face soon. Cause we is a consistent queen, right? Yeah, I'm trying to convince myself, but all right, you guys, I'll see y'all on my next one. I'm tired. Bye.